Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I have a Shein haul for you all. I'm so excited, I went and got some more nail art. Um, I'll be honest with you, I did this set and this actually has uh, some Shein nail stickers on it. And because I love the stickers so much, I actually went and purchased a whole nother order. So here are my goodies from Shein. I'm gonna go ahead and open this bag up and get started. Oh, actually, no, before I get started with my Shein haul, I was in my local Walmart and I saw some items, some nail art supplies that I thought would be kind of cool to use. So it's only like four or five items. So I'm gonna show those really quick and then I'm gonna hop into my Shein haul. So first thing I picked up was um, some of these really cool glitters. Um, I was really excited to um, try out some chunky glitters. Look how pretty this is, like oh my goodness. Yeah, so this is like a, a teal blue and purple glitter. So I do like doing blue nails and I do like doing purple nails. So I think these would be fun to try and play around with and do some chunky glitter designs. So I have this and then I also picked up some um, shredded mylar. Um, that's what the packaging looks like here. And I got this from Walmart again. And look at these little glitters. How cute. Yeah, I really like this. So yeah, I picked this up. And then um, I'm hoping to do like some encapsulations with this. I did uh, recently get some acrylic, so I want to encapsulate my nails and use this, these pretty, uh, this pretty mylar to play around with some different designs. Um, <clears throat> I also found some Halloween designs at Walmart. So these are really cool. Has like the different witches. It says Happy Halloween. You got like the little green blood, the little hands coming out the little graveyard here. Those are really cute. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I picked this up. And then I also picked up, um, what is this? Uh, same, same deal, but this one has like bones and ghosts, Grim Reaper, um, bad to the bone, cute little sayings on that. And I also like the fact that this one had like the spider webs on it. I'm thinking I might try to do like a spider spider web design and then, you know, it has like the red blood. Um, let me put the glitter here. And then I also picked up this. So I got all these items from my craft aisle. Um, this is plastic yarn needles. And the reason I got this item, I wanna show you all, I wanted to try and use it as like a cuticle cleaner. So when I'm doing my dip powder nails, um, you see how the point, it isn't too pointy, but it also isn't too flat. So I'm thinking I could use this to kind of like, you know, just clean around like the cuticle area when I'm doing my nails. So this might be a little nail hack. Um, I'm gonna let you all know how it goes. I like the fact that it's like a soft plastic and not like hard metal. So I wanna see how this goes to just clean my cuticles, but that's why I bought this. So yeah, I'm always like shopping around in different like craft sections of different stores just to see how I might be able to use different items for nail art. So yeah, I think all of these items together were, it was like less than five bucks. So yeah, if you all are looking for some affordable nail supplies, uh, definitely check out your local Walmart as well and see what they might have. So, hopping on to Shein. I picked up a lot of goodies. I'm gonna just hop right on in. I just poured the bag out over here and I'm just gonna grab and go, you guys. Okay, so the first thing I see here is actually some cuticle pushers. Um, I actually have been wanting to get some of these for a while. I had these in my shopping cart on eBay for the longest, but I think they were like, they were almost like 10 bucks or something and I honestly just didn't wanna pay for them. They're reusable cuticle sticks. Um, and then I found them on Shein for like a dollar or maybe two bucks. And I was like, yes, I need to get these. So yeah, this is what these look like. They are really cute. Has like a little bit of glitter in them. They have like the cuticle pusher side where you push your cuticles back. And then they have the um, pointy tip. Um, the tip is kind of pointy though, so you'll want to be careful when you're cleaning your cuticle area. But I mean, if it's too sharp, you can always just file it down a little bit. But I like the idea of these so that I don't have to always uh, be using the wooden ones. But yeah, I got these and I think this came in like a pack of 50. That's a really, really good deal for that. Like, yeah, so some uh, plastic cuticle pushers with some cute little glitter in them. Yeah, they're really cute. So I got that. I also picked up, um, this is actually something I got for the hubby. It's, um, I'll see if I can try to insert a picture here, but it's actually um, 
a thing where you, um, it's for his suit to hang out of his pocket or whatnot, but it's like a cute little uh, charm or whatnot that I, I thought that he would really like and really enjoy for when he's getting dressed up and wearing his suit. So yeah, and it has like a nice little sparkle to it, a nice little sparkle to it too. So pick that up for hubby. I also picked up some um, sanding bits. So I like the fact that first off they have them packaged. That's really nice. And the sanding bits that I currently have, they are all coarse bits, I believe. And so I just wanted to try out some different ones to see kind of what they feel like on the nail um, and what they might be good for. Like if um, they might be good for the natural nail or, um, or whatnot. So let's see here. Okay, this whole thing comes off. Okay. It's still pretty nicely. So it comes off like this. So this is definitely the coarser bit here. Let's see if I can focus in on that for you. Yeah, this is definitely the coarser bit. And then that's the 180. We have a 120, which I believe is considered the zebra band. Um, so I'll be interested to try that. I think this might be good for the natural nail. And then we also have this one. Um, this kind of feels like it's even finer, actually. Yeah, I think I think that's how it goes. Like the lower the number goes, the finer it gets. So I think this is even finer. So this kind of feels like the other side of my um, nail file that I use. So yeah, okay. So I have three of these. I'll be excited to try these out and see how they work. I'm not really sure how many come in here. I would say maybe like 20, 25 per section. So maybe like, I would say maybe like, um, Maybe 75 come in here, like 60 to 75 bits come in here, I would say, if I had to guess. But I love the fact that it comes in its own packaging though. That makes life a lot easier so it doesn't get like mixed up with different things like that. So got that one. I also picked up some more nail stamping plates. I'm really trying to get into nail stamping. I But what's sad is I haven't even used the other ones from my last haul yet, but um, I, I have them and I want to try them out. So this one has like some different designs on it. Let me get this opened all the way up for you. So that's what these designs look like. Let's see if I can get it without the glare. There we go. So yeah, it's just different like little flowers, lace looking, um, some wrecked, I mean some diamonds. Uh, this one's like a little, like a lady dancing, a heel, some deer. Um, an angel. So yeah, just different designs on here. And I really like getting these little like packs because it comes with the nail stamper, the scraper, and the actual plate. So yeah, I have all of that. The next item I picked up here was this cute little bag of fruit, y'all. Look at this, like I can't even. So I'm not gonna open it up here on camera because you know, I don't even have anywhere to put it just yet, but it has like orange pieces um lemon slices this cute little apple oh my goodness that is adorable um it even has animals in here i see some cats some puppies um looks like I think dragon fruit maybe um star fruit strawberries grapes yeah it has just like a lot of different things i don't know if y'all can see the little puppy here oh look at the little puppy yeah it's a lot of cool little things to play around with in here. So I actually saw this on Amazon and I wanted to pick it up, um, but it was a huge bag and I'm like, I don't need that many of these. So I'm glad they had this little tiny pack and I think this was only a book. Next item I have here, I actually picked up some of these lint-free wipes from Shein. Um, I honestly wanted to just give them a try. Um, I did have the pink pack in my cart at first, but then I decided to just go with white. I just wanted to try these out to see if they were any good. Um, the uh, nail pads that I use right now are these, and I'm not the biggest fan of them because one, they tear apart pretty easily, and two, it leaves so much lint all over my nails and stuff. So I wanted some like genuine lint-free wipes. So um, I got these. And I really want to open them up and see what it's talking about here. Okay, here we go. Is that how to open it? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, I see. So I think you just do like this. There we go. And I just want to take one of them out and see what it's talking about. I see here. Okay, oh, that's cool. I like that. Ooh. Okay. 
Oh yes, I definitely like these. You see, you see the, like, that is way stronger. Way stronger than these little things that I have here. Like these pull apart with like almost no effort. But this, wow, okay. Yeah, these are gonna be my new lint-free wipes. That That is for sure. Um, yeah, I'm liking these already. So this came in a pack, I think it's like, I think it's like 600 of these in here. Like that's crazy. And I think it was like 250. I'm definitely going back and getting some more of these because yeah, those other ones, they leave so much lint on my nails when I'm trying to do my nails and it just, it takes forever to be trying to get lint out of stuff. So I really, really like these a lot. That was a good find. I'm glad I, I picked these up. Next item I got here is some nail dotting tools. Not that I actually need it anymore, but I just wanted to have some nail dotting tools with different sizes on them. Um, I am kind of getting more into nail art these days. So yeah, I just want to show you all what they look like. Cute little... Um, like glitter design. It looks like they, they're all different sizes too, but they are just so adorable though. Yeah, I really got them because of the design though. Like look how cute these are. Like you see like the different little, little specks and glitter foils and such inside of there. They're so cute. Yeah, so I picked these up and then on one end, let's see on one end, they're like all different sizes as you can see. And then on the other end, they're, I think they're all the same size here. So yeah, got these, super excited to try them out. The next item I picked up here is some more charms. Um, these I got, I actually got these previously in the color silver, and I was really sad because I wanted them in gold, and now they have them in gold, so I picked this up here. These are gonna be some cute charms to just put like, maybe on the cuticle area of the nail, so definitely wanna try that out. Um, I also picked up some more nail foils. Um, again, nail foils are something that I wanna get into but I still have yet to have a chance to try them out. So I think this is kind of, kind of considered the Aurora design, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, they got all these different colors here. Okay. But yeah, it comes in all these different colors. And yeah, I really want to try these out. I actually saw Long Hair Pretty Nails do a design recently that really made me purchase these. I had seen them on the website previously, but wasn't impressed with them. And when I saw her with uh, how she did her nails, um, she did like a, a French with like this green type color and outlined it in like gold and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. So I'm actually, I bought it for just for this color and I wanna recreate that design that she did. So I have that. I also picked this little tool up, which I'm pretty excited about. So I have a lot of those gold little charms. Um, actually, they kind of have a picture over here. So I have a lot of these little charms right here. And some of them are bent, some of them are not. But this little tool is supposed to help you bend it so that it can fit perfectly on your nail. So it's a cute little heart, which is just gorgeous, you know? So it's a cute little heart, and it has um, this little piece here. And all you do is you put your charm in the middle there, and then you press it down, and it's supposed to bend it so that the charm can fit comfortably on your nail. So I thought this little gadget was pretty nice and pretty nifty. So I'm happy to have this in my nail repertoire. Then I picked up one more nail stamping plate and this one is actually butterflies. Um, and since I did this butterfly design, I'm in love with it. So I've kind of just been into butterflies lately. So yeah, I have this that I want to try out. Like I said, a I wanna try out with some stamping. So hopefully my stamping journey goes pretty well. So the last items I got are all nail stickers. So I'm just gonna kinda of bring them all out here and show you what I got. So the first ones I got here are these cute little, it's kinda of like a dried flower look. I've been wanting to do milk bath nails for like ever now. And um, I don't know, I haven't found any dried flowers that I feel like would work for that design for me. So I figured I'd do it with nail stickers since I've really been enjoying nail stickers lately. So I picked these up. I also picked up um, kind of like some, I guess Halloween themed stickers. So this has like a little bat in it. Um, it has like this lady that's crying. Oh my God, it's intense. This would be cute on some red nails or maybe white nails. They got like barbed wire, a lighter, and a rose with a knife here. Um, love that's kind of you know 
and then it has that. So yeah, this is really cool, like a beating heart that's all bloody, like, yeah. You all can kind of take a look at this one and see all the designs that kind of come with it. Um, the next one I picked up here is some glow in the dark stickers. Um, they actually do glow in the dark. Let me see if I could show you all that really quick. So this is what these look like. They're just like some roses and some butterflies. So I thought this was really cool and will be really fun for like Halloween time. I also picked up some cute little gold stickers. I mean gold zippers. I guess I'm really into gold lately so I thought these were really really cute. I have some gold hearts. As you all can see the theme here, I really love gold. So that's what these look like. I also got some gold like tropical leaves. So I thought these were really cute. This one actually didn't come with the white background on it. So let me just hold this up next to it. So these are really cute. Um, I got some more butterflies. Um, these two are pretty similar. One is like camo print butterflies here. And then this one here is um, animal print. So cheetah print, thought that was really cute. And then these butterflies. So these butterflies are actually pretty similar to the ones I have on. No, not actually, no they're not. But they're kind of in the same family where they have the two butterflies split. So I thought these were cute. Here are some blue ones and here are some like orange yellowish ones. I thought those were really pretty. And then I picked up some all purple butterflies. That's really cute. And then these flowers are just absolutely adorable. Like how cute are these gonna be in like the summertime to just like put on your nail? Like yeah, I thought these were really adorable. And then the last thing I picked up here is some gold flames. I think these are gonna be really cute to put on the nail. I don't know, get like a little preview here. Like how cute is that gonna be? Yes, yeah, so yeah, I um, racked up in this Shein haul, okay? Like, I was not playing any games, okay? So yes, I racked up on this haul. I picked up a lot of goodies. Um, if you all have not shopped Shein, definitely go and check them out. Um, I actually normally shop on Shein for clothes. I actually, When I did this haul, I actually was just looking for um, a cute little dress or romper to wear to a wedding that I'm going to in a few months and while I was on there I had to get some nail goodies y'all I really did so yeah these are all the items that I got I hope you all enjoyed this haul I know that I really enjoy watching Shein hauls and um, let me know what's your favorite item that I picked up and if anything I got you all plan on getting too and go ahead and show your hauls off I'd love to watch them like I said lately I've just been watching so many Shein hauls and just getting so much nail art let me know if you all want to see a video of me organizing all of my nail supplies because I am collecting quite a few I am ramping up quite the collection here so let me know what you all would want to see I'm thinking about doing a video where I organize all my nail stickers and then maybe another video where I organize like all of my nail like charms and things like that um, so yeah let me know if you all want to see that um, I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday um, Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursdays and so if you all liked what you saw here definitely come back next Thursday for another nail video as always I want you all to leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye